You know, most studies that we see these days are piling on more and more therapies. And you stay on the therapy and you're on it for years and you're on it for life until the disease progresses. And I think that's the really unique aspect of Embark is you're on this intensive therapy for nine months. And if you get a good response, which is over 85% of patients with enzalutamide monotherapy, over 90% of patients with enzalutamide combination, you actually get to get them off all therapy. So you're actually on no therapy, which I think is really important for us to relay to our patients and explain that yes, this is intensive therapy, there are side effects. Quality of life is maintained, doesn't mean there's not side effects, right? There's definitely side effects, there's no free lunch, um, but you get to come off it at nine months, highly, highly likely, and then you're actually off it longer than you were on it. So every month you were on it, you get more than a month off of it. And actually for the combination, nine months of treatment, you get 20 months, over twice as long off therapy as you had on therapy. So I think that's really important to talking to patients who are nervous, they're going on a new therapy they've never had. And you, historically we told them, look, you're gonna be on this for life. We don't have to tell them that anymore, but we can get really good benefits from that nine months. And then when the cancer comes back, the PSA starts to rise again, you, they go back on therapy. So I think it's, it's relatively easy to operationalize this in the clinic and to have those discussions with patients while maintaining quality of life. I think it's really important.